They prevent you from creating a plan. They prevent you from really building the confidence that you need in order to move forward and grow your business in a way that is really going to serve you. So they're always there whispering mean things to you that stop you from doing what you need to do. They affect your self-esteem, they affect your resolve, they affect your passion, they sap your energy, they take everything away that you need. So the saboteurs are all about the negative thoughts that hurt your revenue and your brand. So business owners are basically offering their own services. So anything that has gone on in their lives that creates self-doubt will rise to the surface when they start to promote their own services. So the saboteurs is all about those negative thoughts, exposing them and uh, providing strategies on, on how to um, conquer them and stop them. But what happens with business professionals is that they're particularly vulnerable because their inner thoughts uh, are, are reflected in the services they provide and the actual revenue that they do or do not enjoy. Perhaps as a business owner, you uh, manage a sales force or you oversee a manager who manages the sales force. The saboteurs are very, very important to come to understand about anyone who's on the front line. It's the equivalent to an army understanding it's soldiers, it's the same thing for a business owner. They need to understand the true challenges of being on that front line. And the biggest challenge is within the ears of those individuals who represent them to their clients. Your outer world, you know, the results that you achieve every day in, in business is directly related to the clarity and frequency of certain activities that will generate the kinds of referrals and new business that you're looking for. This is definitely not another self-help book. First of all, it is specifically about new business development, but there is, a, on, in chapter three, there is a, a saboteur self-assessment. So there are 22 statements that are fundamental to the growth of, of your new business. And you then can assess yourself against those 22 statements, and then you can drill down to the 22 saboteurs that match those statements. After you have drilled down in your particular saboteurs, you then have the opportunity to consider antidotes, so certain strategies uh, that you can be uh, implementing. And then furthermore, and most importantly, there are the saboteur prevention strategies, so actually having plans around your referrals and your networking activities and your sales closing process. Getting rid of the saboteurs, first of all, involves exposing them, identifying exactly from whence they came. So the symptoms actually do point to the solutions. So you learn about your, um, your, your, the different thoughts that hold you back and then address those thoughts through um, different, say, antidotes, so different solutions, like building a really strong message. Uh, so that you're very confident when you're speaking with members of your network. Uh, that's just one example of uh, one way of addressing the saboteurs. In the long run, the prevention strategy is having an ongoing plan so that every day you get up in the morning, you know exactly what you're going to do around new business development and it resonates with you and you are energized and empowered. So it takes a little bit of time, as I say in the book, to, to get from the saboteur state to the antidote state to ultimately to where you are, you have a plan and the saboteurs just don't happen. People would like to think that there's a silver bullet for everything. So often they think the silver bullet is networking. The challenge is, is that no one tells you how to network and they don't give you a plan. There just wasn't that kind of information. So the saboteurs love to be where there's lots of uh, of, of dictation, uh, dictated activity, you're supposed to this, you're supposed to do that, but no one tells you how to. So you've got this chasm called lack of education or ignorance. So is there a silver bullet? Well, education is always the silver bullet. Paula is uniquely qualified to write this book. She really, she's the real deal. She's really come a long way in her career and she's seen an enormous amount of, of success herself and she has helped generate an awful lot of success among the people that she has been coaching. She tells really, really extremely interesting stories about what 
you know, why people were struggling, why these people were struggling with the issues that they had, and what the saboteurs were that were really tripping them up, and how she helped them get beyond that. I think if, if someone is making money hand over fist, they probably don't need this book. If they are not generating the revenue that they really would love to generate, then they need to run out as soon as they can and grab a copy because it is so full of powerful information. I think there's lots of moments in that book that any entrepreneur and business owner will identify with. Uh, it's quite amazing how, how Paul has been able to draw out real common themes in a business owner's journey that um, that really resonate through the characters in her book. I think there's a piece of us in every story. Everybody will find something that will be beneficial. I did. I, you know, I found uh, the one, one of the amazing things in that book too was the saboteur self-assessment tool. And you can't squirm away from yourself when you do that saboteur self-assessment tool. You know, you, if you're honest with yourself, and I was, there were a few areas that I thought, yep, there's something I can improve on. So I'm very grateful to Paula for allowing me to be her editor in, in that process because it, um, you know, I got a sneak peek on, on this book and, uh, you know, was able to benefit myself from reading it. I think that it is a necessary book and I think that it is a, a, a true book, um, one that speaks to somebody who's going through this journey and, and how to uh, get the best out of your journey. and often that is just as simple as letting the people who are destructing your journey or getting in your way, get them out of the way. And this book really helps us identify who they are and what they're saying and, and helps us choose not to listen and move forward. Get the book. You need this book. If you're serious about your business and you're serious about generating more revenue and getting beyond your limiting beliefs, your self-limiting beliefs, and, and, and the paradigm you live in that could possibly be preventing you from making the, the revenue, generating the revenue that you desire. You've got to have this book. There's no just two ways about it. So my final thought is to please not let the saboteurs create a home in your mind. Get rid of them. Get rid of them now. And uh, replace them if you are responsible for creating your own revenue. Do your family and yourself a really big favor and get rid of the saboteurs and learn how to grow your business. Be educated.